Hey guys, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amber and I film fashion, beauty, and lifestyle related videos. If you are into that kind of thing, please consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell down below so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And for today's video, I am showing you guys my take on 2019 fall to winter shoe trends. I've done a lot of research on what I have seen trending on the runways and what designers have been creating and the trends there. And if you're unfamiliar with runway fashion, it is a very exaggerated form of fashion in general. It's not exactly wearable for every day. So I wanted to take those ideas and kind of recreate it and make it more wearable for every day for you all. And also I took into account of what I've seen trending in retail stores. So if you are interested in this video, just keep on watching. I also wanted to mention that I have exceeded my first goal of reaching 100 subscribers and I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but I was not expecting to receive that goal or exceed that goal within the first two weeks of being on YouTube. So I just wanted to thank you guys and I wanted to celebrate with you all throughout my journey through YouTube, whether those victories are small or big. And I wanted to go ahead and do a giveaway for you all. So stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see how you can enter that giveaway. All of the shoes that I purchased for today's video, I actually purchased off of Amazon and primarily Amazon Prime Wardrobe. If you've never purchased from Amazon Prime Wardrobe, it is the best thing ever. You get to place an order for up to, I think, seven items and seven or eight items and you get it shipped to your house for free. You don't pay for anything. You get the items for seven days to try out to put together with different things that you already have in your closet. And if you don't want it, you simply pack it back in that box and ship it back to Amazon for free. So there's no shipping costs or styling costs or anything like that. It's completely free. Um, service that Amazon has. It's the best thing ever. And I will have those links posted in the blog post, which that link will be posted down below in the description box. The first trend that I noticed was there was a lot of emerald green shoes. It seems to be the color for this year. And because emerald green is already a statement in itself, I went with a very simple silhouette with this emerald green pointed toed suede pump and it has a little bit of a notch detail right here on the side which adds a little bit more interest and because of the green color and it's a statement in itself i wanted to pair this with a very monochromatic look so i chose a black turtleneck and these black skinny jeans with rips at the knees i also decided to throw on this plaid cardigan just to provide a little bit more interest but it is also very simple up top and allows the shoe to kind of be the standout piece of the outfit. The next thing that I noticed was a lot of floral printed shoes. Now this is a trend that I don't really know how I feel about it, but I did find these shoes on Amazon that I thought were pretty cool. They're this sequin floral print shoe. I did not realize that they were sequined when I purchased them until I got them in the mail. I thought it was more of an embroidered type effect. I'm not really sure why. I guess I didn't read the description very well, but I think with the right outfit, you could make these work and tone down the shoe, if you will. So as long as you're wearing something simple up top, I think these actually could be really cute. So I paired this with the same black jeans that I had on in the first look and a button up black top for the same monochromatic effect. I also paired this with a black felt hat just to add a little bit more pizzazz to my outfit. And if you're not into the monochromatic look and you want something a little bit different, I would still stick with something very simple because it is a pattern and it's kind of a loud pattern and I paired it with this white 
wrap front thermal that is very drapey in the back as well as the front it has lots of movement and that same black felt. The next trend I noticed was something that I think actually started a couple years ago but it is back again for this year and it is the white shoe and I have two options for you guys. The first pair that I have are these Sam Edelman Western inspired white booty. I really like these because I feel like it goes with more of a festive style outfit and which is why I paired it with this dress that I'm wearing right here and that black felt hat. I think it just looks super cute together. You can wear these with jeans and a fun boho outfit or even just a cardigan and a simple t-shirt underneath. It would be really cute that way as well. But you can do a lot of different things with this shoe. I feel like just go on Pinterest and kind of look up outfit ideas, but I really actually like these and these are probably definitely going to be a keeper out of all the shoes that I purchased from Amazon. The next white shoe option I have for you guys are these pointed toe stiletto go-go booty, if you will. I don't think that these are really fitting for my lifestyle personally, just because I am a mom. I'm in my third trimester of pregnancy. I am not going to chase my almost two-year-old son around in these. It's just not feasible for me. But if you are someone who can skimp out on a little bit of comfort and you're better at walking in heels than I am, then these are probably a pretty good option for you because they are really cute with the right outfit. I paired these with this warm tone dress just to add a little bit of pizzazz and kind of make the outfit stand out just a little bit more. I feel like it makes this simple tie front dress just a little bit more interesting. The next trend that I noticed actually really surprised me because it's the Mary Jane shoe and I didn't really think that that was something that was going to come back out this year. But a lot of designers were putting out some Mary Janes on the runway. And so I found these blush colored shoes on Amazon. I think they're super cute and it's more of a modern take on the Mary Jane with the strap here. It has like a, a silver stud detail here and it's pointed toe makes it a little bit more flattering and elongating for your legs and there is this block type heel in the back which makes it more stable to walk in which this is the kind of heel that i prefer just because i am terrible at walking in really tall stilettos i'm just not talented like that but i think these are super cute and they're very comfortable I did get a size too big on an accident. I ordered a seven instead of a six. I don't really know how I did that, but you will notice that there is a gap in the back of the heel. Um, but as long as you order the right size, I think that these would be fine, true to size. But I just think this would be super cute with just a pair of light colored skinny jeans and a lace cami and a simple cardigan. So I just paired it with this blush pink cardigan to kind of play on the pink colors of the shoe. It is very girly and fun and a little bit different than all of my other looks that I have for you guys today. Another trend that I noticed were buckles and a lot of them. So I picked up these taupe booties with these three buckles on the side here. The hardware is silver. I didn't want anything that had an overwhelming amount of buckles on them so I just kind of went with something a little bit more simple and I paired these with these light colored jeans and this open knit cream sweater and I really liked how neutral this outfit was and I just wanted to add a little bit more pizzazz so I put on this tan felt hat that I got from Target. The next trend I have for you guys, I'm sure you have probably seen everywhere, and it is the animal print boot. So I picked up these snake print booties with the side cut out here. Now I have an irrational fear of snakes. So looking at this, I just, my skin crawls a little bit. And so I just don't know if the snake trend is for me. I really like it. Actually, I think snake skin is beautiful and it's neutral enough that it can work with a lot of different outfits and I, I'm doing it for you guys. 
but otherwise I just can't do it because of me being very overly dramatic about snakes in general. So I paired these with these distressed maternity jeans and had kept them at the bottom just a little bit. Also this white high neck top that is actually sleeveless and perfect for layering when it's not super cold outside but you kind of just want that layered look and this taupe leather jacket that I got from Express years ago but I thought that the taupe colors of the leather jacket looked really really good with these snake print boots. The other animal print shoe that I have to show you guys are these cheetah print booties that have a similar side cut out here, similar silhouette to the ones that I just previously showed you. And they kind of have a fur-like texture to them, but it's not too much. It does, it's not super fuzzy. If you're standing far away, you wouldn't really notice it. But I'm not going to lie, when styling these shoes, I kind of ran out of some creativity because my husband gave me a call and said, I'm on the way home. My knee is swollen. I can barely walk on it. And so I knew I was going to have to deal with that situation, so I was just kind of rushing. But the outfit I chose, I would actually wear that on simple days when I'm just trying to get out the door but look put together. And I just threw on this cream simple sweater and these distressed denim jeans. Alright guys, that's all the shoes I have to show you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration on how you can incorporate some of these fall shoe trends into your wardrobe. Since today's video is kind of centered completely around Amazon, I thought it would be perfect that for my first giveaway I would give one of you a $25 gift card to Amazon. So be sure to check out the description box below so you will have instructions on how to enter the giveaway. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so, so much again. I love you and have a good day. Bye.